Hello everyone, welcome to MSAPT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to modify default compliance policy settings in Intune. Microsoft Intune is a mobile device management solution that is used to protect organizational data. It allows you to require users and devices to meet certain requirements set by the organization. In Intune, compliance policies are used to accomplish this. There are two parts to compliance policies in Intune. Compliance policy settings and device compliance policy. Compliance policy settings is a tenant-wide settings that are like a built-in compliance policy that every device receives. Compliance policy settings set a baseline for how compliance policy works in our Intune environment, including whether devices that haven't received any device compliance policies are compliant or not compliant. On other hand, device compliance policy is a platform specific rules we configure and deploy to groups of users or devices. These rules define requirements for devices like minimum operating system version or the use of disk encryption. Devices must meet these rules to be considered as a compliant. Compliance policy settings are distinct from the settings we configure in a device compliance policy. In this video, we will only look into compliance policy settings. First, we need to access and log into the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https colon double slash endpoint.microsoft.com First, click on Devices and then click on All Devices. We can see all devices are compliant, but we want to check the device compliance policy status. Click on the device name for which you want to check the device compliance policy status. In this example, we will click on this Windows 10 device. Under Monitor, click on Device Compliance. We can see built-in device compliance policy is currently applying on this device. In Status column, we can see Error. Let's click on it. Why we have the error? Because the device does not have any compliance policy assigned to it. Here we can see has a compliance policy assigned, status, error and under state details we can see not applicable. But the device is still showing as a compliant in Intune. We can see device name labwin10-cli01 and the status is compliant. So this is where Compliance policy settings comes in picture. Let's check default compliance policy settings. Under policy, click on compliance policies. Click on compliance policy settings. Mark device with no compliance policy assigned as setting determines how Intune treats devices that haven't been assigned a device compliance policy. Compliant, which is selected by default, means devices without a device compliance policy are considered as a compliant. If you set this policy to not compliant, devices that haven't received a device compliance policy are considered as a non-compliant. If you use conditional access with your device compliance policies, it is recommended to change these settings to non-compliant to ensure that only devices that are confirmed as a compliant can access your resources. Let me change the value to non-compliant. 
enhanced jailbreak detection setting applies only to iOS or iPad OS devices. This setting works only with devices that you target with a device compliance policy that blocks jailbroken devices. If you enable these settings, devices that receive device compliance policy to block jailbroken devices use the enhanced jailbreak detection. Compliance status validity period specify a period in which devices must successfully report on all their received compliance policies. If a device fails to report its compliance status for a policy before the validity period expires, the device is treated as a non-compliant device. By default, the period is set to 30 days. You can configure a period from 1 to 120 days. We will set this value to 2 days. You can configure these settings as per your organization's requirement. Once you configure all those settings, click on save to save the changes. Wait for confirmation message. Saving of compliance policy settings was successful. Now we have set up default compliance policy settings. In the next video, we will create and apply device compliance policy. So that concludes the video on how to modify default compliance policy settings in Intune. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.